Yeah, baby, welcome back to Detail It. Today's gonna be mirror finish polishes, premium tire dressing. We're gonna check that out. This can be used uh, straight. Uh, Gino said this is his most glossy tire dressing ever, which I, I don't wanna make any comments about that. I'm gonna put it on the tire and see what I think of it first, okay? Ease of use. You can mix it a lot like a lot of the water-based uh, products. Uh, four to one, two to one, three to one, one to one, or straight. So I'm gonna use it straight. I'm not gonna dilute it. Uh, we'll see how it goes on this tire. See what I think about just the application. Straight's probably gonna be way too glossy for my blood. I don't like the super high sheen. There's another one that I like. It dries to the touch. Doesn't sling if you prep the surface right, which most won't if you prep them right. Um, and the one that I use most often when you've put it on the tire, let's say that the next week you wash your car, truck, SUV, whatever, you can just clean it with your soap, soapy water and a brush. You don't have to scrub it and get it off. I do a light once over with a, a tire brush, or I mean a wheel brush, a softer brush, and then rinse it and dry it. And it stays decent. It stays to my liking for about a month. So that's why I like the other one I'm using. Hoping to get that out of this one. This one you can dilute four to one and use on trim or interiors too. So keep that in mind. It's kind of personal. Uh, that's by just reading the back of the old uh, packaging. So I'm gonna bring a VRT block out here, an Adams VRT block. I'm gonna do a couple of different ways on application for this um, tire here. Let's see here if I can do this without breezes. Kind of hitting us a little bit today. I don't think it'll get bad enough that it'll knock the old tripod over. <laughs> I don't know how we're going to do this. Let's do that a little bit higher. There we go. And I'm going to use a block, foam block first. Then I'm going to finish down because these are kind of an AT tire, which are a pain in the rear to dress. These tires are where the trim shine or some of the spray on tire dressings are king um, but just make sure you prep the surface and do not over apply now this is straight too so I got to keep that in mind because most likely going to be way too glossy for my blood especially straight smells like banana guys and gals looks it's kind of a gel it's not real runny it looks like a lotion actually So smooth on, this tire was prepped, by the way, it was. So what I'm gonna do, I think, that, see, that's enough for me right there. Um, I'm gonna do from the treads, just this more flat surface with the block. Then I'm gonna use the brush in these little tread areas. Hmm. Not sure I would like it without diluting it, simply because it's like a lotion. I don't like these gel or lotion styles. I like much more of the uh, real liquidy runny that you get in your traditional sprayers, okay? But it doesn't mean I can't dilute this down. I'll have to try that one of these days, just putting it in the spray bottle, maybe two to one, um, one to one, something, and just see what I think of it that way. It'll probably be a way I'd like it. I do not like putting stuff on out of a bottle like a lotion. I like to, a couple trigger pulls, go for it. And then the thing with trigger, you can get down here. I always put one swipe down low and call it good. I, I don't massage that one in, that's down low. I just hit it with one trigger pull, call it good and move on. Let it soak into the tire, let it dry. And before you do that though, you're gonna wanna get your truck or car up off the concrete or put paper under it, newspaper, back over some newspaper before you dress, because it'll stain your concrete. And uh, some people say that's a rookie move, don't do it. I've stained this concrete up, but I just use a heavy cleaner and get it off. It usually comes up pretty good. So, these tires were thirsty. Um, these tires are about six, eight, nine months old, maybe, and I, I've never dressed them. But right now, I'm not liking how this is soaking in so that tells me, probably neglect by me, because I've never dressed these tires, right? Or I didn't clean them good enough. But I scrub them with a heavy cleaner, 
just a few minutes ago off camera and uh, blow dried them. So, hmm. okay. now this is these kind of tires like this, an AT or an off-road tire or a, a, an all-terrain or a mud terrain or whatever you call them. These tires here would be a pain to put a coating on, but. To me, these are the kind of tires you would want to put a coating on simply because you'd put the coating on and only have to do it once every three months. So, I loaded my tire coating out to a local pro so he could put it on his van. And I told him, hey man, you get this on, it's going to take maybe an hour or two to get it on the first time because you got to really get that surface clean. I mean, maybe an hour. Um, but you don't have to reapply. So he's going to do it, but he hasn't done it yet. So, maybe once I get that back, I'll do that on these tires. Okay. Yeah. I'm not crazy about the way this applies, to be honest with you. I'm not picking on them. It looks great on the tire. Just not a fan of these gel types. <sighs> and I said don't over apply in here. I'm going to over apply. Watch. Because I'm going to go around now. Massage it in with this brush. A little bit too wet for my liking. But I may come back in 15 or 20 minutes and knock it down with a microfiber. So that I might do. Because even though I prep these tires and I preach prep, I'm not sure that I prep these enough. I scrub them with a heavy cleaner, trust me. Um, and the dirt coming off of these was crazy. So I think we're prepped good enough, but... If I don't knock this down in the slings tomorrow, it can only be one of two things. Over application or not a clean tire. So, mirror finish polishes, premium tire dressing. It can be diluted up to four to one for interiors. Which, if you're a detailer, a mobile guy or gal, something like this that you can mix one to one for tires, maybe four to one for interiors and trim, it's a home run. Then it's economical. So, easy to apply. Not a real crazy fan of that style of application. The tire looks good. Like I said, though, a little bit too wet for my blood, guys. I don't even know if you can see that on camera. We have a pretty hot day going on right now. So I didn't want it facing the sun. But you know what? Maybe, you know what? Let me pause you, and I'll move the truck into the sun. I'll turn it around. Hang on. Well, there you go. So, I'm glad I did that. So, I can just tell you straight up. Way, 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 way. Hey, hey. Too glossy. I will not like that. So, uh, next time I apply this, if I try to dilute it, it'll probably be a 2 to 1 or a 1 to 1. I will cut that with water. You can see the gloss coming off that. Some of you will like that. My better half would like that. Uh, glossy tires like that to me are gross. I don't like it. So don't judge this product by that though. I didn't dilute it. So there you go guys. It's a good local product right here in uh, Central Valley, California, Selma, California to be specific. Mirror finish polishes, premium tire dressing, and if you don't like it glossy, and I don't, knock this down or I mean not knock it down either you could either knock it down with a rag or dilute it so honestly as glossy as that is I would probably dilute this two to one um, it's too wet for me I don't like that but it's a quality product as far as I can tell it went on smooth it smells great and Gino's a great guy so give mirror finish polishes a look check out his tire dressing Give uh, Christopher or Gino a call and see what they can do for you guys. Thanks for watching.